What's up guys? Your favorite, our favorite cameraman is back. Didn't say a word, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> camera shy? Yeah. Gotta warm up to it. A little nervous, haven't done this in a while. Yeah, welcome back. Good morning. I saw you guys last night when I got in and out, but now it's the morning of open house. So, in the morning, wake up a little extra earlier, eat breakfast, drink water, and be ready. Have your caffeine, but don't have your caffeine before you eat and get your water. So you'll, it'll make you feel like shit. Oh, I hope I didn't fuck this up. We're taking a risk right now, guys. Wake up, eat breakfast, cut the sleeves off your shirt. Yes. Another important thing <laughs> is your outfit. When you're going heavy, you have to choose an outfit that's going to make you feel big or athletic. And you may think that doesn't make sense, but it does. I was a skinny dude once, still kind of am. But I remember when I was going through the grinder on heavy Fridays, my days were just not as good if I picked clothes that did not make me feel bigger. I'm not saying wear a schmedium. You can wear, there's just certain clothes that, that just fit you well, you know what I'm saying? That matters. I'm tired of weightlifters looking like shit. This is gonna look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh damn, looks good bro. Does it actually? Yeah. It looks great, dude. It looks quality. Like it was done by a pro. I think the sleeves are just a little uneven. Yeah, that's all right. You know what? We're, we're gonna have to come back to this. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to have Daisy fix it. Oh my God. You're like a girl, bro, dude. Let's see how this looks. New hoodies, got an XL. Those are slick. Yeah. Dang, I feel like we got a large. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear this. You gotta grow into this a little. It's not the right. Could wear it with pants, but not with shorts. Dude, this is like a girl. This is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. It's, you have to look good. I understand. Right. Let's go. So you're not even wearing a fucking hoodie? No. Dude. Just totally the time. Okay. I think I'm about to get sick too. Oh, fuck. Why are you saying fuck? Because I drink out of your drink. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck. I hope I get sick. I'm resilient, bro. Hey, fun fact, everyone. Nate sucks at driving. I, I don't. I yes, really you don't. do. So, I'm late already. Not a good start. Not a good reflection of who I am. Part of this thing we're doing is it's a... Uh, we have everyone bring canned food. And then we just compile it. What's it called? Donate it afterwards. So I gotta go grab like two cans of food. So I'm not a dickhead. We're looking at that building right there. So this is something I've been living by for a little bit now. You go down the street, you're just driving, driving to work, whatever. You're on the freeway, see a bunch of little like little cars, little Toyotas, all these, you know, just normal looking cars, just commuters. But every once in a while, you see this older, little bit dusty, little bit dirty, maybe a few dents in it, just wide body diesel truck. Dualied out, coming down the road. That truck right there, it's fucking work, baby. And that's what we are. We're fucking diesels, baby. Wide body. Fucking wide body dualies. We're fucking going heavy. And whatever I learned since getting richer, I learned working with the negatives to make for better pictures. I learned Hennessy and enemies is one hell of a mixture. Even though it's fucked up, girl, I'm still fucking with you. Damn, is it the fall? Time for me to revisit the past. It's women to call. There's albums to drop. There's liquor involved. There's stories to tell. We've been through it all. Yeah. 
Interviews are like confessions Get the fuck up out my dressing room Confusing me with questions like Do you love this shit? Are you high right now? Do you ever get nervous? Are you single? I heard you fuck your girl, is it true? You getting money? You think them niggas you with is with you? And I say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah Fucking right, fucking right, alright And we say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah Fucking right, fucking right, alright Uh, so much How's the vibes? Great, I need some bangers in here like some banger music I know That was Korean.
like this. I want to find a sense of euphoria after lift. I've been missing that. Every time I do that, I compare it to how it used to felt. It doesn't feel good. Let's go. I should do it again so I can do it to this part. <laughs> My life's a movie, you know? <laughs> We're running and shit. Not bad. Not bad. I feel like it'll take like two, three months for my body to adapt to everything. So it's a solid starting baseline. Hell yeah. It'd be sick if I hit like 135 snatch, 175 clean and jerk. Not like looking like that either, looking good, like how it used to look, but also being able to like fucking run a marathon or just jump into a CrossFit competition and win, you know? <laughs> like not myself, I would be with a team. I know some dudes that go here. They're like trying to get a new one, so that'd be sick. Are you doing 10? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was watching you look like, I was like, you're so teeny. Yeah, it's all in the camera. <laughs> it's just like, you're here, it's good energy. You're welcome. We have somebody, and a lot of people got a lot out of it, okay? Thank you again, just please, putting everything back away. Let my craft. How'd you feel today? Um, not the best, but that's, that's what's good about it, you know? And I say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah Fucking right, fucking right, all right And we say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah Fucking right, fucking right, all right uh, So much for being optimistic They say love is in the air, so I Hold my breath till my face turn purple Keep a few bad bitches in my circle My nuts hang like ain't 